All right, let's go on to some other issues. And I know he wants it to go away, but it's not going away. This whole issue with the lockdown and why Victoria is in the crisis that it is in the first place. Now, the government in Victoria desperately want all of this issue to be pushed aside into a judicial inquiry, but that's just political management techniques to try and bury the issue and hope people will forget about the role the politicians played in this mess. Today, there's been a real shutdown of parliamentary scrutiny of Labor's handling of the pandemic in Victoria, much the same sort of shutdown of any scrutiny of the Premier's Belt and Road debt deal with China, I have to say. But one MP is doing his best to demand some transparency, and that's Victorian Liberal MP Richard Reardon, who's also the Deputy Chairman of the Public Accounts and Estimates Committee. He's been fighting on this issue for some time. He joins me now from Colac in country Victoria. Uh, Richard Reardon, thank you very much for your time tonight. I understand you're trying desperately to move a motion to demand more accountability now uh, from the Premier, not to have this pushed off to the judicial inquiry. In, in practical terms, what are you trying to achieve with this motion? Well, Peter, what we're trying to achieve is the Victorian Parliament has not discussed the uh, coronavirus pandemic, all its cost, the enormous economic, financial, community cost since May 20th. I mean, we will not be going back to Parliament until August 4th. Um, we had a coronavirus inquiry, which at the time, back in April, Daniel Andrews made much of the fact that he picked the uh, Public Accounts and Estimates Committee to be the foremost, most uh, reliable um, institution within the parliament to review the way the government's handling the pandemic. And then he's not going to let us sit and he's not going to let us hear what's going on in what has been an unmitigated disaster in Victoria in the last two weeks. I made the point at the top of the show. Can you imagine a uh, Liberal Premier, a Jeff Kennett, let's say, shutting down 3,000 oh. residents and getting away with it in public housing? But if you look at uh, what that will now require from the Victorian taxpayer, uh, you know, food and drink is being brought in by the taxpayer, a $1,500 payment for those working, $750 if they're not working. Uh, this is in addition to the job seeker, the doll and the job keeper payments, toys mm. for children. And there's even uh, support for alcohol alcohol and drug addicts, again, looked after by the taxpayer. Do we have any sense about how much the Victorian calamity on the management of this pandemic has cost the Victorian taxpayer? We, Peter, we know nothing. At the moment, this, this um, lack of public scrutiny, this lack of accountability, Daniel Andrews' refusal to let anybody have a say or intervene or look at what he's doing in any way is uniting the Greens, it's uniting crossbenchers, it's uniting the Liberal Party. There is red hot anger, not only in the other parliamentary people represented in the Victorian Parliament, but the community as a whole. As we go to bed tonight in Victoria, we've got people locked in flats, we've got suburbs locked down where you're, you're not allowed to go anywhere, but you can go to work. We've got a situation where the Premier told us playing golf and going fishing was going to kill people. We've got our borders closing, South Australia's closed, uh, New South Wales closes for Melbourne people today and the rest of us tomorrow. I mean, it's an absolute, um, it's a disaster. It's an ongoing uh, parody and um, it, it's not good enough. Victoria is is such an important part of the Australian economy. The parliament has no idea what's going on. We've been left in the dark. There's been no briefings. He set up his little, um, uh, little dictator-styled uh, cabinet that's got all the control. Things are grinding to a halt. I was across... Uh, my region today, along the coast, talking to business people. There's, you know, all the normal things that people want to do in an economy are being stifled. The ministers are distracted. Daniel Andrews does not want to listen to anyone. He's not taking any advice. He's going it alone, and he's basically creating uh, a no-win for Victorians. We are going to be in a stop, start, shut down, open up, close down, shut up uh, situation for months to come. It is going to be an unmitigated economic, financial, community disaster that could take years to recover from. Yes, and like you, you're in uh, Colac tonight. I come from country Victoria. I really feel for those in regional Victoria because there's virtually no sign of COVID outside Melbourne, but they're suffering because of it uh, very much so, and they're just only getting their economies back up and running, and now this downturn. Richard Reardon, thank you very much for your time tonight. No worries. Thank you, Peter. Right, after the break, growing calls to ban 
ban the Chinese-owned social media platform TikTok. Why is that? Well, I'll explain after the break.